so in the previous classes we have been studying what are herbs what are shrubs what are trees what are creepers what are climbers we have studied about the function of the stem right we have studied that stem conducts water and minerals for the plant and it supports the leaves and other parts of the plant that is what we had studied about the stem about the leaf we have studied in the previous class the two main functions of the leaf which are photosynthesis and transpiration right these are the two things two processes that we studied in the leaves transpiration and photosynthesis besides this in this chapter we have studied about the different parts of the leaf the midrib the veins different kind of venation etc so today we will move further in this chapter and we will study what is the function of the root okay what is the importance of root in a plant what is the function of the root so moving towards our chapter in this picture we can see paheli and bujo right if you look at this picture can you identify who is watering the plants correctly why who is watering the plants correctly and why so we can find that this girl paheli she is watering the plants correctly why because when you water the plants the plant should be water near the root so let us identify why because why plants need uh, root and what is the importance of this root by some of the activities which we will be studying further so let us move towards the activity so in activity 6 what you need to do is you have to select two weeds of the same size and you have to dig them out dig them means you remove it out of the soil plant one in pot a and plant the other one in pot b you have to water them regularly and you have to observe them after every week okay so what you have to do weeds means unwanted plants you don't want those plants such plants we call them as weeds so you have to take two such weeds and you have to take it outside the soil and you have to keep it in or grow it in two pots okay in pot a you with root you have to grow and in pot b without root right then you have to water them regularly and then you have to observe them what happens to them after a week so what do you observe you can see both the plants in pot a the, in pot a the plant is with the root pot b the plant is without the root so both the plants are watered one is having root and the other is not having root the plant in pot a survives after one week you can find that the plant in pot a it is surviving and the plant in pot b it dies okay why does this happen let us just try to find this happens because root helps the plant to absorb water and minerals from the soil okay if no root is there this plant will not get any water and any minerals and so it will die if we get food then only we will live right otherwise what will happen yes we will become very weak similarly the plant in pot b it is because there is no root it won't get any water and it won't get any minerals so it will become very weak and it will die in one week now activity 7 okay in this activity 7 what you have to do you have to take two balls place some wet cotton in it in that ball you have to place some wet cotton then put three or four seeds of gram in one and maize in other okay 
one is gram and one is mace. You have to put this. Okay. Keep the cotton wet by sprinkling water every day. You have to keep this cotton wet by sprinkling water every day. Right. Now it sprouts. After some days what happened? It sprouts. Okay. And so what happened? Now separate the young plant from the cotton wool. Now you have to separate the young plant from the cotton wool. Right? Now you look at the seeds that you have pulled out. It was very easy to pull those seeds out from the cotton balls. Right? Now in what way are the seeds of gram and maize similar? How come they are similar? You can see. Each root has some common parts. Okay. But the functions of these parts are same. Each root has got some common part. But functions are of these are same. But you can see those two seeds. The seeds of that is the roots of maize. It is different from that, the, that of the roots of gram. Right? So in what way are the roots of gram and maize similar? They are almost similar in their structures. Right? So their functions, okay, they are similar. But their appearance is totally different. Okay? So there are two types of root. You can see different types of root. So there are two types of roots right so in case of beans and maize or gram and maize okay all this you can find how the bee, how the roots are totally different from each other right one root is straight whereas the other one has got small small branching so there are two types of root systems which is called as a tap root system and the fibrous root system. So let us discuss about it further in the next classes. Okay, what is this tap root system and what is fibrous root system? With this we are ending today's class. Today after the class we will also be conducting a revision for chapter 6. Okay, so I hope all of you are prepared and we will meet in the online class. Thank you.